This is a 1953 Ford F100. It's got a, a great running Chevy 350 V8 with an automatic 350 turbo trans. got it from uh, he actually was driving it every day and the only reason he sold it was uh, because he wanted to just get something that got, got a little bit better gas mileage he, he said he really kind of hated to let it go but you know a V8 doesn't get the gas mileage that the that the little new truck does so he, he bought himself a newer truck reverse works engine runs fantastic like I said, it's this is kind of like Grandpa's old farm truck, uh, although it does have a tilt forward front end, which uh, front uh, hood, which is really cool. It's very easy to do. This, that engine runs perfect. Sounds like it might have a minor exhaust leak. It sounds like I think it's at the donut on the drive on the passenger side. So you can just hear it runs great. I believe the donut down below is what needs to be replaced. The engine doesn't overheat, it doesn't smoke. And uh, I've driven this truck a couple of times. Every time I drive it, I mean, you just barely touch the key, it fires right up. I mean, it, it's a really good solid running engine. Nice, clean, rust-free hood. Tilt forward hood works really well. Super, super easy to open and close. And one of the nice things it does is eliminates the hinge problems on these old trucks. They all had, you know, that hinge issue, which never wanted to quite hold the hood upright, or when you went to close the hood, never wanted to close in the back always close in the front and the back you'd have to go back and walk back there and push it so I kind of like to tilt forward because it eliminates that issue uh, forever the body is actually very straight um, of course you can see it's got a you know farm truck patina to it it's got some chips in the paint here and there it's got a couple of little dings and dents uh, kind of you know sporadically around the truck but overall it's a really actually a straight body and it would not take much to block it out if you wanted to put a nice paint job on it. I think this is a better candidate for the money uh, to be some sort of kind of a farm truck or a rat rod truck, but it, I, it wouldn't, the truck is in good enough shape and rust free enough, it wouldn't stop me to use it as a, as a restoration. I think it'd be a good, clean restoration. But like I said, for the money, I think it's great the way it is because it's got a great running engine, brakes work good, all the lights, brake lights, turn signals work. Um, I mean, it's a good, reliable driver just like it is. We'll get up on it real quick and I'll show you the only rust spots that I've seen on the truck. One right here and then right back here underneath uh, on the cab corner. I've got a brand new um, uh, grommet here that goes around, weather stripping that goes around the fuel tank. I've got that brand new and a couple of other brand new pieces of weather stripping that come with the truck. So inside the doors are good. Bottoms of the doors are not all rusted out which is, that's what we're always looking for. Make sure these doors, the bottoms of the doors and the hinge pockets are nice and strong. Got a little bit of rust here, little crusties here, and just, I mean, really, I mean, that's not much. Floor pan, in good shape, solid, and original. So, very solid and original. It's not been patched. So obviously, there's a little duct tape or something there, but that's because they changed out the steering column at some point or 
they were uh, moving things around for the for the engine swap so it's got some wires and stuff up underneath here for lights and gauges and things like that that uh, obviously when they put the 350 in it that happened the seat the bench seat that's in it to me is just a little short it should be a little longer but it's in really good shape the bed um, is a little beat up but not bad overall fairly straight like I said again this is a farm truck and then it's got a piece of metal on the bottom and it's not it's not welded in so that'd be really easy to take it out and put a wood bed back in it or just weld that in got one this is the only dent that I see on the truck it's right here other than that I don't see any other dents actual dents same thing over here nice clean bottom of the doors there's a little crusties on there from uh, paint and from the weather stripping being having been painted over and being crusty but it's not all rusted out superficial rust here you can see some of that's kind of coming off as I touch it with my finger but uh, no holes or anything solid hinge pockets again over here on this side too original floor pan all solid I mean it looks grody it needs a carpet kit you know obviously somebody pulled the carpet out of it and some of the glue and carpet stuck to it so it looks kind of gross you know looking at it but you know these things are so easy to do the interior on there you can buy the interior kit for these for like 250 bucks you get a headliner you get the carpet so you get the door panels if you want them so um nice solid doors doors open and close easily the glass on the sides and the back has been replaced and uh the felt on there is new the weather stripping is new and they're all tinted so the the door glass and the back has been replaced the windshield is i believe original and it has a little rock chip here on this not a little one a big one but it got a rock chip here on the side so the guy that he that that i got this from had this truck for years he said that things never grown when he got it it was like that and he never replaced it tires have good tread on them but they are older tires uh but i, I drive them around town under the truck it's nice and clean the step up rest free i mean of course like i said there's superficial surface rest but that's not you know any big deal original gas tank placement floor pans are clean Nice clean frame rails, no rust on the frame rails. Nice clean and rust free uh, fender wells. That's what I'm trying to show you there. So this is no rust bucket. I mean, it is got a couple of spots of rust. It's got a little bit of surface rust underneath. Even the inside of the cab corner in there is not rusty. This cab corner over here is not rusty just the one over there and the floor pans like i said look at how clean they are this is a southern states truck so very minimal rust there's a little bit of a uh, little bit of rust here first wasp of the season getting in my face even in here though look this is a spot where these trucks are notorious for rusting out look how clean that is So there you have it. I think this, like I said, I'm just kind of repeating myself, but great farm truck, easy rat rod, especially with it being red underneath. You could shoot this thing in a uh, flat black and then go around and scuff it and kind of have a reddish, you know, scuff through kind of look on it. Um, it doesn't have power steering or power brakes. It's got the original uh, uncut frame, which a lot of guys are looking for. I get a lot of guys saying they don't want the front clip or they don't want somebody else to do it. They want to do it themselves. And I understand that because a lot of guys don't do it right. So, uh, like I said, nice straight uh, for an, for a farm truck style truck. The body's very straight, and uh, I'd call this truck like 90%, 95% rust free. So, this is no rust bucket. I mean, it's a good truck. I've been driving it around town, take it back and forth to to Home Depot, and it's a uh, 53. So it's the uh, 50th anniversary for it, and the first year of the F100, which is also very cool.